Support for Just Seen It comes from Weaver's Coffee and Tea, makers of hand-roasted artisan coffee and hand-blended tea. Learn more at weaverscoffee.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard-to-find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at warnerarchiveinstant.com. Sutter is a hard-partying high school senior. You gotta live in the moment. It's about this. This is beautiful. Woo! He meets Amy, a shy girl who he quickly falls for. What's your story? I don't really have any stories. What do you mean? Everyone's got a story. I don't know. I'd like to think that there's more to a person than just one thing. Their new love proves opposites really do attract in The Spectacular Now. Hi, I'm Salim. I'm Liz. And I'm Kevin, and we're here to talk about the new coming-of-age drama, The Spectacular Now. We've all just seen it. Liz, what'd you think? The title's really good. I mean, it's really easy to remember. Like, what did you see? Oh, I saw The Spectacular Now. That <laughs> just came right off the top of my head. It's just a celebration of a short period of time, and I think that's a really appropriate title. And it's, it's interesting because this movie actually starts off as what you would think is a typical high school movie. We have Sutter, who's doing his college applications, but his personal statement is about him breaking up with his girlfriend. But then you realize that it's it's a lot more than that. This this guy Sutter is a very tragic character, and it's it's really about these adult emotions that he has to deal with. Yeah, the film is set up as if it's gonna turn into something like she's all that, or can't buy me love, or even something like a walk to remember. But then it completely flips your expectations, and it turns into a really genuine, sweet, and not in any way irritating film. The script is based on the novel by Tim Tharp. It was written by Scott Neustadter and Michael H. Weber, who did 500 Days of Summer. So there's a nice realism to it, and there's there's a little bit more depth to it than you'd expect from a teen film. Well, yeah, yeah they, they, they wanted to bring a little bit more gravitas to this. Yeah. Even though we do get into the sweet rom-com elements of it, it's also a very poignant father and son story which I really gravitated to because it's really about this guy who lives in the now, the spectacular now. He has this charisma for days and he could get by on this charisma, but it's sad because he could do so much more. Yeah, and if you look at the mechanics of the script, it reminds me a lot about something like Safety Not Guaranteed, where it's just incredibly efficient. Every scene is there for a purpose and to move the story along. And this script doesn't hold your hand through the story. It lets you piece right. things together and it lets you just see beats and moments that are most important in these characters' lives. Eric Wolf and Cody Dennis no, were 100% hitting on No, we were just talking. On they were 100%. not hitting on me. No, no, no. There's Abs absolutely yes, no way. Were. Why don't you think they were hitting on you? Because I'm just, they weren't. Because you're what? Amy, you're absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, no. <laughs> So let's talk about Miles Teller, who plays. Oh my God, Sutter. fantastic! He's so good. Remember when we reviewed Footloose and we both were like, "That guy, Miles Teller, yes. he was so awesome." Exactly. Well, because he brings this um, everyman quality. Yeah, you you, for you sure. feel like you've seen this guy before. He could be you could be friends with him in high school, and he definitely looks like he is in high school as opposed to a Zac Efron or Selena Gomez. He looks Same like a normal guy. Exactly. Same thing with Shailene Woodley. I, they have this normal um, authenticness to them that really helps to bring out the emotions of the characters. I just have to talk about Shailene Woodley for like 15 minutes. I know you won't give me 15 I minutes, but I want to. She was amazing. Yeah. yeah. She just, it's as if she knew the character backwards and forwards. Right. And there's this one moment when they're hanging out with mm -hmm. uh, Sutter's dad at the bar, yeah. and Sutter and Amy are by the jukebox, and she just rubs his arm and just kind of holds on to him for a second. And just that one moment told me more about her character than 15 lines of dialogue. She was very grounded and very secure and very independent, but then there was a moment of, some bad stuff has happened and you're kind of not talking about it anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I thought, does she have some issues that we haven't really addressed? Like, yeah. there's a whole thing there that we could actually You can see that too. she has her own, like, system of defense mechanisms yeah. that help her deal with her own family life. Yeah. And you could see that in the last shot of the film and, right. you know, not knowing exactly what she's going to decide as well because of her background. Right. Yeah. What I liked about her is that she doesn't, change who she is fundamentally. Mm -hmm. She reads sci-fi and she does this and she's not ashamed of it. She just is like, this is who I am. He comes in, she could easily become kind of a party girl or kind of adapt to what he's like and doesn't. She's like, this is who I am. And I, I think you like me for who I am and that's, I'm not gonna change. Yeah. And that's refreshing because it's not usually how it goes. From makeup to costume, to performances, to production value, to cinematography, everything has a cohesive 
style to it. I mean, the long takes, I mean, all of it is just incredibly strong from a specific point of view. This is all thanks to our director, James Ponsold, who recently directed Smashed, which was a great little indie starring Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Aaron Paul. I read this article with Shailene Woodley where she actually said they didn't use any makeup and it was all natural. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it was because it was so hot that it would just, they would sweat it off. So they just decided not to use any makeup. And that's why it was so natural. And she felt free, but she felt a little at first a little self-conscious because there's just nothing on her. Yeah, you could see imperfections of her skin and Miles Teller's skin and it's just nice. It's just nice to see that on screen. And it had a documentary feel because of that, I think, too. And he has a background in making documentaries. I know people like Sutter. I know people that have gone through these issues, have absent fathers, and for some reason they have these destructive personalities that they don't really understand why. And I think this movie is important to really show this type of a character and show this type of arc and growth that he goes through. The Spectacular Now is well directed. It has a great script and it manages to avoid all cliches in its execution. See it. A heartfelt coming of age story mixing themes well, resulting in a poignant and authentic tale of a tragic character. See it. Spectacular Now is a simple movie about complex people that really affected me. So I say see it. Spectacular. Spectacular, spectacular. Support for Just Seen It comes from Weaver's Coffee and Tea, makers of hand-roasted artisan coffee and hand-blended tea. Learn more at weaverscoffee.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard-to-find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at warnerarchiveinstant.com.